Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You know it's Minister ML again. You're going to see me more often than often uh, than you're normally used to seeing me because I am on a mission to uh, expose the most ridiculous experience that I had to go through as a business owner, a legitimate business owner within a community that I built my entire professional career for the past 10 years of my life. And you just would not believe the stuff that my scamified so-called attorney convinced me to be quiet about and then somehow, some way, some scam, that state scam found a way to not have to show their face in Fulton County Court after I waited an entire year. Now, wait a second here. If I am the plaintiff in a case and I'm bringing action toward you, how do we get to the end two days before I'm supposed to appear and some kind of a scam signed document between you and the visiting judge Bates was signed, which caused the judge to dismiss an entire portion of my case. And according to the scamified attorney, Zach, in order for me to be able to come back and get bad faith, he would have to disassemble what the judge had just ruled. And the only way he could do this is by providing what's called a voluntary dismissal. Now, all of this is a scam. I want you to understand how is, I don't even understand how I'm going. If I am the plaintiff, I cannot understand for the life of me. This happened in Fulton County Court. Now, it was an uncomfortable place to go to. I was nervous even pulling into the area. I was so nervous that I brought a Caucasian brother of mine to go with me because it was like I was pulling up to an Emmett Till style court. Y'all think I'm playing. You want to be mad, so what? All the gloves are coming off, State Farm. You played with me and I tried my best to be professional and I gave you everything that you asked of me. But you went and destroyed my professional name and you think this is just gonna be bygones be bygones? I don't care how big you are. You don't get to do that to me. Now, if I had a, a criminal record, then you could have went on my record and said he's this, that, and the other, but you don't come up to a public a, a officer of the state of Ohio and publish false allegations and don't bring any criminal charges because you have no evidence and put these negative comments about me to the public. You don't get to do that. I don't care who you are and what level you're sitting on at State Farm. I don't care if you're listening or you're not, but I tell you one damn thing, we gained a thousand more subscribers ever since I started ripping you a new one. So if I've got to do this every day, several times a day, stay firm until I bring you in the court and you know you received my demand letter and you know what I've demanded from you. Understand that's my personal demand. I don't want to hear shit else. That's my personal demand. You robbed me and my family. And you're going to pay for what you did to me. You don't get to do that. So at the end of the day, you are a scam. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to sing it. I'm going to preach it. 
State Farm, like a good scam is there, is what your slogan should be. You made up a complete falsification picture of what you wanted to make up so you could justify denying a legitimate claim. So the bottom line is you are going to be held accountable. If I only reach one person a day that does not sign up for your scamified services, then I've done my job. Because I don't want to see anybody else go through what your scam is. Because from the moment I made the report to you all, I was treated like a criminal and you know it. You know it. If you can explain to me why seven days after the incident, I was investigated. But yet you put on papers, you're investigating the corporation, but you didn't question anybody else on my corporation. Did you think it's a corporation with just me? You tarnished a whole lot of people here. And somebody has to be held accountable for this. I don't care who you are. What in the hell do you think this is? So let me go ahead and show you, YouTube, what the next step in complaint that we are at today with State Farm. I'm going to share my screen real fast. And I'm going to let you guys see the next complaint that has been filed already in the uh, transit of said department. Uh, where we, we talked about the... Ohio Commission's department earlier. Uh, and now I want you all to see that there has been an official Ohio Civil Rights Commission's report filed against said company, State Farm. Because you understand that there were several of my rights broken. We can go from the police unlawfully interrogating me and trying to make me implicate that me or my sister was somehow, some way, driving around SWAT and AM at 5 o'clock in the morning and had something to do with it. Literally separated us, and it looked like a scene from Cops on TV. Don't tell me. I was terrified. Never in my life have I ever been interrogated before. I was just trying to obey, follow the rules. Come to find out, you scams were implicating I did this the whole time. Then you just dropped the case. The mayor talked to me on conversation. I got the receipts. So I don't think I'm going to ever say something that I can't show you. Him and I were talking about the mistreatment of the police towards me and my sister. He said it was disheartening to hear. And he was gonna invite another department in to help investigate our crime. You know what that turned into? They dropped the case with no suspects. All in all, State Farm took a year to try to in study out Mr. Kimball. Couldn't find anything of fault. So they made up this picture, said these derogatory comments to the public secretly, put that in the reason and why they denied our claim. And all of what they said is false allegations. You cannot do that. According to this constitution that we both signed that we would uphold. I know I'm not crazy, but my constitutional right gives me protection against my name, my image, my character witness. And you tarnish that State Farm. So you're going to hear from me several times a day. Whenever I feel itchy, I am my own boss. And the bottom line is you are on my schedule. 
and every single place I can say it, you're going to be on blast because if you did this to me, how many other are you going to racially profile, make a picture up, and put on the documents you're denying their claim? And it was all based on what you made up. You will be held accountable. I'm going to sing it until I, if the and until the Most High take me out of here. You will be held accountable because you tarnished my good name. And I don't like that. It's one thing if you're a customer of mine and you want to be mad about some service. Well, let's talk about the service and make sure that what you're mad about is really even my fault. Because it's a lot of that, too. Oh, my credit wasn't fixed. Well, how many times did you get it pulled while it was getting worked on? Let's look at that. Oh, how many times did you drop, not make your car payment while it was getting worked on? <laughs> Let's look at that. Oh, 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 how many times did you uh, 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 make a late payment on your credit card or max out the car? No, we don't say these things, but it's, oh, yeah, 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 my credit, stop the games. I'm full of knowledge and everything I know, I teach it to people and I'm a damn good teacher. So the bottom line is State Farm, you messed up. You messed with my customers and you now you've ruined my corporation. We coming back and this time I'm mentioning every single thing you did. I've got a legal analyst looking over the documentation as we speak. And all of these things I'm chronologically orderly putting on video for everyone to see will be mentioned in our next court actions. And there will be a separate case for HCV. And we're talking about weeks out. You already got my demand letter, so you know how serious I am. I'm not playing these games no more. You broke these laws. And what's sad and sick about it is you don't even realize that you gave me all the information. You gave me all the evidence. And Zach, you typed it all out in a trial brief already. Because remember, we were supposed to go to court 24 hours later. Somehow, some way, you all come out laughing and there's no more court. I don't understand it. Especially when I was the plaintiff in this entire fiasco of a scam. So you want fire? You want smoke? I'll bring the fire. But you ain't going to get away with what you did. And it's until I, if I got to lose my voice every day coming on camera, because I have a big platform of people that support me and listen to me. Those thousand people did not just join in the last damn two weeks because I was Bible studying, because I haven't done that many Bible studies. They are joining because they loving me ripping you a new one, State Farm. So let's make it right. Do it right. Don't tell people you right there in the neighborhood, because right now you're right there in the scam hood to scam the next person. Don't spend your money with State Farm at all. They will find a reason to scam you out of coverage at the worst part of your life and think they can get away with it. He showed up with a loud tile and a bunch of jewelry. I never would have come to court with three or four necklaces on. You lying scam. But that's what you said? How do you get away with saying that? That's not painting a picture? Come on, I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a 40-year-old man. So the bottom line is, we can be adults about this, or I'm going to continue to complain and scream what you did to me. All of you, Swan PD, you ain't getting out of this. You was an hour late, but you still interrogated me and fingerprinted me. How the hell did you do that? And then drop the case? Oh, your asses is in there too. 
I don't got no connections with Swanton now, so I don't give a damn. If you wronged me, you better get out the way. Because I got the receipts. Anything I'd say, I got the evidence. Don't mess with me. You robbed me of my livelihood and you will pay for it. A jury will give me the same right that I have uphold with this constitution to be treated fairly in a court of law. And the bottom line is you scammed and got out of it. And I'm not going to stop until this time me and my team are in court facing you off because it's not just going to be me standing there. You wrong my entire corporation. Take a look at our, 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 our credit line, our, our, our credit score. Take a look at what, how bad we look now. How many tax liens against our corporation. That's your fault, State Farm, because you stole my building from me. You're done. The games are over. Time is up. And you better quit doing this to people. It's wrong. Like a good neighbor right there to do what? Scam? Because you're showing the hell scam me. And you had no right. 